world needs to hear this story. I'm just so sad. It's ruining everything. How could Jeff do this to us? I've been coming here for 15 years, and now they're trying to shove this hippy-dippy shit down my throat. Literally. The West Watering Hole has barely changed in the 33 years it's been open, but a new decision by the owner, Jeffrey Westwater, has appalled some of the regulars. So I was here just the other day, sipping my usual whiskey sour, and I could taste paper. Paper in my whiskey sour. It was an outrage. Straws? Made out of paper? That's the darnest thing I ever heard of. Stop killing our buds. Give us back the bendy straws. I just think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What are you doing? This is a place of business. Get out. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Do you have a minute to talk? It appeared that Jeffrey, the stirrer of this controversy, was nowhere to be found. Zinnia Westwater, his only daughter, did agree to an interview instead. Zinnia bartends at the hole and helps her father run the business. So you can take that, you can put that in your pocket right there. You can put that, you can clip it on the top of your shirt. Yeah, right here. Hi, Zinnia. How are you doing? Uh, please call me Z. All right, Z. Are uh, you doing okay? What is. But what do you mean, why wouldn't I be okay? The straw scandal? I'm, I'm gonna read you some recent reviews. The vodka crayon tasted like wet toilet paper. Zero out of five stars. My straw melted before my ice could. Kill yourselves. I did it for everyone's good. Nobody understands. Nobody understands why I had to do what I did. Wait, you did it? Uh, did what? You replaced the plastic bendy straws with paper straws? Oh, that, yeah, that was me, yes. Now, Miss Westwater, according to our evidence- Oh God, what is wrong with you? Single use plastic, Jesus. Look, all you need is one of these. See, like, no more waste. There you go. <sighs> Um, when is your father available to talk? What does he think about this disruption of the business model? Doesn't matter. I'm the one mostly calling the shots these days, so. Uh, don't you mean pouring the shots these days? Uh, so you're in charge now? Yeah, I mean, Dad's getting old. Running a business is pretty hard for a guy that age. I I'm doing him a favor, you know? He, could he couldn't handle it. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'd love to get Jeffrey's perspective on that. How many times do I have to tell you? That's not gonna happen. I can come back later. No, 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 you just, you can't reach him, okay? Oh, why not? Cause he's dead. What? So is this a recent development? Yes. How long Just, just ago? recent, okay, it just, Really recent. God. I'm so sorry. I, um... He, he got in the way! You know? Like, I, I had to do it. I, I had to do something. But now I can't turn it around. I can't change anything. You can always go back to the plastic straw, Z. Then this would all be over and your father would look down on you proudly? No. No, he wouldn't. Okay? Because he doesn't care about the earth. Nobody does. You know, that's it. Get out. Get out! It looked like this story was gonna be a dead end. However, after some investigation, I was able to find my way into a back room. And you won't believe what we found. Oh. My God. Plastic bags. 
Hypocrisy. You heard it here first. Zinnia Westwater has taken something sacred. Your bendy straws. But clearly can't help herself when it comes to other single-use plastics. Where does the deceit end? Does she really care about the environment? Or does she just hate you? Gather around, children. Have you ever been told the tale of sweet Zinnia? From the water hole, she served up wine and whiskey, piss beer and liquor, and a knife. Red and cider poured any sticker. Ruby started looking, documenting the straws, and see she got to running, but was sucked up by the law. Ruby found a secret, Jeff's body said, but worse more. Beside him was a single-use bed. 